All right, y'all. Today is the day. It's election day. And it's a crazy one, right? We've had to deal with it. We've had to put up with it along with this pandemic. You know, for the last year and a half, we've had to listen to all this stuff. And now here we are, the day for you to make a choice. And I keep seeing people who have decided not to vote. They're abstaining from voting. And then I'll see comments on those posts and people are like, I, I agree with that. I can respect that. Well, let me tell you something. I don't respect that decision. I think that's an irresponsible decision. I think there are people that don't have the right to vote in this country that would love to have your vote. And the fact that you are willing to just throw away your right to vote because you don't like the candidates from the two primary parties? Did you even research other candidates? Did you look at any third party candidates? Joe Jorgensen from the Libertarian Party was a great candidate, but she was suppressed left out of the debate poll so that she couldn't debate because she probably would have done a hell of a job in the debates but the only if you heard about her it was word of mouth social media putting her out there and I threw her name out a bunch because when people were dissatisfied with the first debate the first presidential debate I'm like boom Jorgens, you don't like those two people how they acted during that debate check her out if you didn't do your job as a citizen and research the candidates that's that's an issue with you it's not an issue with the candidates it's your right to vote if you don't like those two primary candidates then you need to research and you need to find somebody that aligns with your ideals and your values and just go ahead and vote for them if someone tells you that you're wasting your vote, you look at them and you tell them it's my vote. And it's I choose how to vote. Don't let anybody tell you you're wasting your vote if you're voting for a third party candidate. Look throughout history. People talk about the, the, the party, the duopoly, where it's just Democrat and Republican and they're, they're sick of that. Well, look throughout history. It hasn't always been Democrat and Republican. We've had presidents from the Whig party. There was a Federalist party. Everything, it all evolves. As this nation has evolved, the parties have evolved. That's how it goes. If you don't like the two main parties, guess what? If you voted for a third party and we see it on election night, who's getting these votes? If, if the majority, if there's a big majority of people that are voting for third party, you think those other two parties aren't going to pay attention? She was a real candidate, and that's why she was re suppressed. And then here you are. I'm not going to vote because I don't like those two old white guys. Then vote for somebody else. There's even a blank space so you can write in somebody. Kanye West, write them in. That's a vote for somebody. You vote for who you believe in. That can be your leader. And this ballot has more than just presidents. You don't like the, the criminal justice system in your city or your state. There's judges on the ballot. You want to get rid of them? Vote them out. Property appraisers are on there. The minimum wage is on there. If you're choosing... To, to give up your right to vote for those you're giving up your right to complain about what happens you can't talk about who wins these decisions these votes can affect the rest of your lives and you're just I'm not going to vote because I don't like who's up for president come on this is why America is the way it is when people don't take their responsibility as a citizen seriously then that is how society erodes 
Everybody has these slogans, every vote counts. Every vote counts. They do count, even if they're third party candidates. If you went to the, to the polls and you decided that you wanted to vote and you didn't really care about the presidents, I mean, vote for the rest of it. If you wanna send a message to the two big political parties, vote third party. Tell them you aren't satisfied with the status quo, Republican, Democrat, and you want somebody else. You want something new. You want fresh ideas. If you think that a third party candidate gets 20% of the vote and that gets ignored, they pay attention. They will pay attention if you force their hand. And that's what you have to do. You have to take your right to vote seriously because there are people in the United States that can't. My mom came to this country from Costa Rica in the 70s and she waited a very long time to become a citizen but she became a citizen in 2007 and in 2008 she made sure that she went out and voted. She was tired of being on the sidelines and watching it all play out. If you are choosing not to vote in an election, whenever they come up, local elections, national elections, if you're choosing not to vote, I don't respect that decision one bit. Get out there. You still have time.